was Nesta. The long kick comes in and backing back and able to track it well. Backs herself, has a bounce through the centre of the ground. Like the look of this build up. She's got to be careful. She might have run too far. She's been brought down and just a little overexcited. Lampard fires it back to Pierce. Can she open it up to Mifsud? This is good stuff. O'Day backs herself. Can she score the first goal for the afternoon? She can, and that is the first telling goal. Plays on looking for Vessio. They came from all angles, closing late with the Demons defenders. Duray gets it back to Paxman. Ooh. Almost, almost. Was that holding the ball? Oh, stiff. I thought she got her foot onto that one. A friend said, come and play for the Wimbledon Hawks. She enjoyed it. She was picked up on YouTube by the Blues. And she enjoys kicking that goal. The quick reply by Carlton. Almost from the side. She'll have a chance off the ground. The toe poke was a little fresh airy. Miffs it on the outside of the boot. Snaps a miraculous goal. And they've done that big pre-season. They're full of energy when they start. Have been really suddenly finding that they're sore. As I day from 50. Oh, somehow it lands in the hands of Scott. And at the stoppage, they allowed Daisy Pierce to just drop out the back of the stoppage. Laura Arnell actually noticed her, called the Carlton player up. But the time they got there, Daisy had got the ball. And now we've got a shot at goal. To put the Demons back in front, Shelley Scott, the dairy farmer from Colac, delivers... Berry, Mithen, can she spot a loose player? Pierce gives it back to Mifsud and she should be able to slot it from there and she does. And the Demons open up a handy lead. It's 50. So, miss what that was for, but it's uh, Deanna Berry who's got the ball in her hands and she is well within striking distance. The 18 year old she is a classy player, and that is a classy finish. And the biggest lead of the afternoon is now 17 points. Fair enough as well to Kerrick on the left. Usually deadly with that left, and she is on this occasion taking the mark is the teenager directly in front, Bella Eyre, standing tall, strong hands, and what a presence at the top of the goal square. And to draw back into this contest Bella Air delivers it's a game to be won here though at the moment the Blues Arnell lifting just paddling it to Exxon gives it back to Pound now she loves to snap a goal too far out oh and the fly from Jacobson read it best absolutely loves a goal she can smell a goal and she snares the goal two in a minute for the Blues and it's game on at Casey Fields the handball over to Phillips. Brazali picks it up. Just going to pump it back into the danger zone here. With the fly and the sit was Vessi, although she was kept out of it. Arnell on the left in the pocket. Oh, instead of going for home, she's able to hit up air. Experience to be able to steady there, but Bella Air owning that corridor space, and we've seen her do this at under 18 championships time and time again. So Bella Air, the 18 year old, blossoming before our very eyes. Two goals in the last quarter, and she's keeping the Blues in this. O'Day pumps it long, having to stand her ground there was Anderson. Couldn't quite pull in, juggle the mark. She does well, great second effort. Another quick hurried kick. Oh, oh all by herself inside funny. 50 is Mifsud. And Mifsud, in fact it's Cranston rather, and Rocky runs in and puts the D's back in front.